Hello everyone, my name is Rating Raptor and I welcome you to a new World of Tanks preview video and today we are going to look at a new tier 8 Russian medium tank called the Object 274A and it's a very very weird looking tank and honestly we're going to have a quick look at the stats right here. When I was preparing my PowerPoint for this right now I was thinking, give this tank a little bit more hit points, better gunsoft stats, and maybe a tiny touch better DPM, and this tank could be easily a tier 9. More HP is a given. <coughs> the rest, the DPM, doesn't really need to be. But the gunsoft stats, they should. It could be easily a tier 9 medium tank with just a little bit more HP and a little bit better gunsoft stats. So yeah, I am confused why this tank will be a tier 8 medium. However, obviously, before we jump into the comparison with all the other tanks, keep in mind this is super test, meaning things can change. Best example, two seven, uh, the T77, which is constantly getting changed. Five round auto loader, three round auto loader, which we saw today in a Gamescom stream with me and Zapfan. And yeah, let's just jump right in. I decided to compare it to the CS52, to the Lunsen C, to the T44-100 and the Object 416. However, with the CS52, we have to keep in mind that the soft stats and the mobility stats aren't what they should be. Because those are still the old values, you can see it. the name would be CS52 list. Now, the Object 7, uh, 274 is a 320 Alpha gun. It has a DPM of 2225, which is basically best from all of those, except for the Object 416, which is known for its insane DPM. Again, pretty much a given that this tank could perform as a tier 9. <laughs> It has very quick AP rounds of 1043 meters per second, quick APCR rounds of 1300 meters per second, and this is very, very interesting. It has a 107 millimeter gun. So why is this interesting? Because this means it can overmatch 35 millimeter armor plates, because a 105 millimeter gun has 35 flat, meaning that it can't overmatch them. It has to be a little bit bigger, or it has very, very hard time to pen. So, this is very interesting. It means that all the 35mm plates are being penable with this gun. However, there are not very much 35mm plates, so not that big of an advantage. What is an advantage? It's its insane penetration rate for a medium tank. 227 base, 289 pre premium penetration, that's a little bit on the... It's still very good, like again, this tank in theory could perform as tier 9 very well at least just from my gut feeling with the nine second reload time it's all right base reload time you can see the cs52 is slower even the lunson is slower t44 100 is faster obviously because it has this better at uh, this lower alpha gun and the 416 again is the king of the pm now to the accuracy values 0.38 that's obviously not that good but then again the Lions and C is on the same level, 416 is just a slightly bit worse. The big issue is its combination of 2.7 seconds aim time, which is the longest across the board, and its horrendous accuracy on the move. This is like what is going to kill this tank, basically, or kill the fun for this tank. 0 0.2 base accuracy, 0 0.15 turret accuracy. Like, just as an example, the Object 416 has its whole accuracy being better than the turret accuracy, which is usually something which very, 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 very rarely happens. So it's that's just not that great, really. It's 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 just um I kind of feel like the Object 274 is probably going to be a tank which just kind of tries to go into the line of the Object 430U. It has horrendous soft stats, it has a very long aiming tongue gun, but has a very punchy gun and has a pretty decent armor layout, at least on paper. So 
Maybe, and this is a big, big fat maybe, maybe this tank will not be a premium or a reward or anything. Maybe it will be just part of a tech tree which leads to the 430U. Because comparable to the 430U, it has 0.16 hull accuracy and 0.12 turret accuracy, which is more in line than what the, two, um, the 274 has than what any other of those tanks have because it's just so bad. But yeah, 2.7 2 seconds aim time, they take ages. They take ages, really, with that bad gun dispersion. 36 degrees per second to traverse, we're going to have a look at in just a second. Minus 6 degrees gun depression, you can work with that. It's obviously not great, but it's much better than the minus 3 of the object for 16. But it's not as good as the minus 7 of the CS-52 LIS or the T-44-100. So... 36 degrees of per second to traverse, it is the slowest of the bunch, except for the Lunsen C, which has a little edge over it. It is 58 kph top speed, 15 kph reverse speed. It's not that bad. I would have wished for maybe 3 kph less top speed, but 3 kph per reverse speed. It sounds weird, but trust me, guys, reverse speed can save a medium's tank, but very very often that's also basically why i personally like to play the cs63 with the turbocharger even though its gun handling is very very poor the turbocharger allows me to pl play at 18 kph reverse speed which is making it just so much more convenient to use and just better to use in my personal opinion as you can get back into cover just that edge quicker 17.2 HP per ton ratio isn't that bad. It is one of the lower ones, as you can see. It is like, I guess, mobility wise, you can basically compare it to the CS52, which is very good. Like, I was playing this tank now quite a bit. I have like 45 games on it. I'm trying to probably free market um, before the um, values are getting too out or exponentially high but the mobility of the cs52 is very very good it's very convenient to use it feels great so this tank being a little bit fast with a slight better hp per ton ratio that is great that is a very very good feeling you know you can really really feel with that um that's just convenient to use 45 degrees per second hull traverse that's also fair and square you can work with that it's not as good as the t44 100 and the object 416 those are still the russian hover mats but it will work pretty decently now the survivability this one is again a special one 95 millimeters upper front plate armor 70 millimeters side armor 230 turret front 130 side turret those like obviously we don't have any armor pictures yet but just the base values on the paper look convincing that this might be either a medium tank which is being a premium tank for the object for the u line or maybe even is going to um, do the split at tier 8 for the object for the object for the u it would make sense because it has very very good arm at least on paper 390 fuel range that is pretty good as well like that is best from the rest like from all of those only Big issue is only 1,200 hit points, but then again, usually hit points is correlating to the size of the vehicle, and the vehicle is fairly small. So yeah, before we... It's... Like again, change the soft stats, change the DPM, give it more hit, hit points, give it 400 more hit points, and this would be easily a tier 9 vehicle. Funny thing is, back in the days, you could have just given it a little bit more hit points, a little bit better DPM, a little bit better soft stats, and this would be a tier 10 easily. Obviously, you say, yeah, you have to do three different things, obviously, to make it better. But this tank really reminds me a little bit of a mixture between a T22 medium and the Object 7, 7, uh, 277. Just from the hull. The 277 hull looks very reminiscent on that vehicle. And the turret has a little bit of the T22 medium, but also a little bit of the, um, of the 50 TP with its bulbous shape to the rear. You can say you can see it has cupolas, but they will probably be hard to hit. I I, I like I don't know. I honestly don't know. I, I saw a lot of people already writing on Reddit, yeah this tank is going to be overpowered. I'm not saying that it isn't. Again, this is super test, it can still change. But the biggest thing which is going to hold this tank back is its atrocious gun handling. Again 2.7 seconds aim time, 0 0.2 accuracy on the move, 0 0.15 during turret traverse. This bloom is going yeet and super slow down. So that's just simply, it's, ah, I don't know what to say. I guess I'd, again, I'd rather have this vehicle on tier 9 with more convenient gun stats 
Then on tier 8, where it gets castrated and if it's getting top tier can wreak havoc because of its fairly good armor. But then again, we have to just estimate how the armor will be. It looks very bouncy, especially also the turret with 230 millimeters of armor, but it's just hard to say. Great DPM, it's almost the best of the four we saw, except for the Object 416. Great penetrations, amazing penetrations actually, with base 227, great APCR pen still 289 compared to the 252 of the CS52, that's a huge step up. Pretty decent mobility still. It, I don't know what this tank is going to be. That's the problem. I don't know what this tank is going to be, and this is why I'm scared. And I once again say it, let me know in the comment section below what you think about this. This tank, just tune a little bit DPM, there's, uh, there's Gunsoft stats on the accuracy to, on the move and stuff, and the HP, and this will be a very, very cool tier 9 tank. It doesn't matter what it is going to be, if it's a reward, if it's CV, like, I'm still waiting for for some stuff like for blueprints or something, universal blueprints, why not make a tank for this when you have like 1000 of those? It would be a long time goal for people which want to keep their blueprints, it would be a great addition for long time veteran players. Yeah, it's, 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 it's a tough call, like, for me the Gsor looks blatantly overpowered, as it is right now. This tank looks, on the first glance, blatantly overpowered until you saw the horrendous gun stats. Because, again, bad gun stats, like the CS-53, it can just kill your joy for a tank. Even though the CS-53 has great DPM, you can't barely use it when it's so fucking garbage gun accuracy. But then again, thank you so, 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 so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to be always be up to date with your latest World of Tanks news. And if you have already, you are an absolutely amazing person. My name is Raging Raptor. Thank you so much for watching. Type in the comment section below what you think about this vehicle. And don't forget to leave your feedback here as well as in the forums. Thank you so much. Cheers. Good luck on the battlefield and I'll see you around.